All right, guys, here we go again, and uh, we are playing against Viola Tongan today, which means, as you uh, guessed, it is rivalry day. It's rivalry time for us, and uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get a good performance out of some of these guys. Um, I'm looking here to decide whether I want to make this uh, change or not. I don't think so, and we are going to continue to play positive. I think that we have a better uh, squad than they do, especially with Nordine up front. So uh, we're going to push forward, and we'll see what happens. Uh, there's kind of a uh, not great performance, as you'll recall, last time by uh, uh, Julio. He's going to stay in here, though. Sione, who I worry about since this uh, technically is a big match, is going to come on back. We'll put uh, Milo Calliopo up there just in case we need him. Might be good to have Paulo up there as well, maybe instead of... Uh, no, I think we do want to give uh, Batbayar uh, Bayar Saihan um, sort of a uh, chance as well, the uh, Mongolian, another player that we haven't quite seen yet. So we'll see what we can do here today. And uh, all right, let's see what we can figure out. Um, I'm not sure what they mean by the dressing room doesn't agree with today's team sheet. Other than that, they want some other player to be in or something, I suppose. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Viola Tongan, of course, um, is our biggest rivalry, so this is a rivalry match. We better hope that we are on our best game. Uh, they have King Moe up there who um, uh, did pretty well against us last season, if I remember right, and who, of course, is a former player of ours. There are going to be a lot of players, though, who are going to wind up being former Ponce East FC players here in American Samoa because we like to bring them on and then uh, set them loose. And so uh, let's see what we can do here. We are again in our red and white um, road match for us here in the evening, and uh, there is a pretty big crowd here for an American Samoan match. So uh, the uh, tale continues to be told, and uh, the uh, legend grows as we uh, go forward with this match. Tia, Tia goes back and grabs that one and passes it back. We didn't, don't have any idea of what happened there at the end of that highlight. I'm assuming it was good. And uh, there's a header from them that goes right over the goal, and uh, that makes me a little bit nervous about our ability to play defense. Batu knocks this one forward, the opposite of what I've told him to do. Kaliopa wins this over to Lutu. Been a while since we've seen Rock, and there is Rock taking a uh, shot from a long way away, and uh, that ends up being nothing. We have packed in our side of the goal, and uh, we have a big following. Tiatia with the throw. A lot of fans want to uh, see us play well over to Milani. Milani with it, and uh, ooh, Nordin just barely missed um, getting his head onto that one. That would have been an easy goal for him. And so uh, we have to do it probably the hard way here instead of trying to hope for uh, just sort of lumping the ball forward. Calliopa hasn't played at all this season, and so we'll see how he does. This is the thing. A lot of these players were good players for this uh, country, and then uh, we went out and found some better ones. Linguande over to Lutu. Lutu over to Milani. Milani takes it up over to Linguande. Linguande, what a pass to Nordine. What a pass. How did he miss that one? Man, what a pass that one was, though, and it remains 0-0. Man, that was a nice pass. I like, I'd like to look at this one again. Lin Guande just looks at the defense and says, I'll just knock it right in front of you. Nordine, I don't know how he missed that one. That should have been an easy goal for him. Um, and uh, there's some shades of Maile there who would miss uh, shots like that from time to time. Lin Guande wins this one back. And uh, let's see if we can get the ball back off of the midfield. We can. It's over to Milani. We're in an excellent position. That's a horrible pass, though, by the way, for Nordine. That's the sort of thing we're trying to avoid. We don't want to give the ball up once we've worked hard to get it. So, uh, and now what's happened here, they have a uh, counterattack, and fortunately for us, Ledu ends up uh, knocking that one up and over into the stratosphere. And uh, we're going to win this one here in midfield again, Linguande with it. Passes over to Nordine. Nordine has the ball, and uh, he's offside. And uh, you can look at that ball sort of trickle on into the goal, um, which is uh, what he wanted to do. So um, I guess that's a uh, moral victory for us. Tia Tia with a throw over to Xiao Si Matafa. Back to Tia Tia. Tia Tia lumps this one forward, looking again for Nordine, and he's just not quite with it today. And uh, Nordine really should be the best player here in this country. I'm not quite sure what's happening to him, and uh, we have uh, been exposed at the back. And Puasa almost was able to lob the keeper, but just not quite. Fatu here with the kick, and he kicks along again. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Rock wins it over Lutu to Milani to Linguande. Linguande takes it over left side, over to Milani. Milani, let's get a pass. There's the pass into Nordine, and he lumps that one forward, but he's called for offside. So uh, Nordine, again, having a hard time sort of timing that run, and um, it's a pretty poor match from him here so far. Tia Tia here with the throw. Over to Lutu, back to Tia Tia. Tia Tia works it up. Over to Nordine, there's a goal. There you go. Nordine with his third goal of the season. Two matches played, actually one and a half, not quite. Three goals already, and... Uh, we're going to see a lot more of him, I think, here in the near future. So uh, one nothing here for Ponzi East FC about 25 minutes in. And uh, I tell you, we had the real hard spell of matches here at the beginning because all three of these teams that we have met here at the beginning of the season finished above us in the league last year. So if we can get through this spell, then we know that we're good. 
Um, one nothing Ponce East FC, and we're hoping to grab on a first place and not let go. And that's a goal there for Tagi Eli. And uh, uh, yeah, that was uh, not really too much that we can do about that one. I can't even get too upset about that one. A free kick from that range. And um, I mean, he just gets that over the bar. And um, unfortunately, uh, there's nothing Fatu can do about that. And so it's 1 1, just like that. And uh, you knew it was going to be close. Here's Nordine again. And he takes a free kick. And I don't know how that one got out. That one kind of uh, did a little toilet bowl there around that part of the uh, woodwork and then uh, somehow came bouncing out to the other side. 1 1 is the score still. And uh, a little bit of uh, poor luck there for Fatu. Um, and uh, not too much you can do about that. I just realized we do have Twala Lele playing in the uh, back, which is not really where I wanted him to play. So uh, I'm probably going to have to take some of the blame here for setting up this team. We can't win this if we play as a team. There's no response at all from the players, which is not a good sign. Um, and uh, so let's take a look here. We'll auto-size all the columns. Twala Lele shouldn't be playing back there at all. I, and you see they don't even want him to play in defensive midfield. I don't know where to play this guy, so we're going to take him off. Um, I mean, I <laughs> don't know what to do with him. I don't know what to do with players like that. Peyton Milani having a poor match. We'll take him off as well. And uh, here we're kind of caught um, in a really, really bad place because we only have seven uh, spots on the bench. Uh, looking here again, Tiate is having a good game, so um, Bio Saihan is probably not going to come on in that uh, position. We might put him in the back if we have to, but I don't think that we have to quite yet. And uh, let's see what we can do. Nordin over to Rock, Rock down to Chelsea Matafa, and uh, he lumps this one forward and ends up with Rock over to Lutu up to Fulmaono. And uh, looking for Nordin, can't quite find him, and that's thrown out for, or uh, kicked away rather for a throw. And so uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can win this ball back or get it here. There we go. And uh, go up and score. Kitiona over to Robla. Robla, and he's looking for, I'm not sure what he was looking for there, but it wasn't there, whatever it was. And we've left ourselves open for another counterattack. Everybody trying to run back. It's King Moe. And uh, Fatu, fortunately, is able to knock that one back. But um, this is a little bit of a uh, problem area for us. Viola Tongan has uh, been a thorn in our side all four seasons we've been here in this league. And um, this is uh, probably the rivalry that we have more so than any other team. Uh, this is a team that always gives me headaches. And Rock wins this one off and knocks it forward. Nordine, look at him go. <laughs> he wasn't ever going to win that one, but we do get a throw here in this zone. Um, over to Rock, back to Tia Tia. He lumps that one forward, looking for um, Lean and can't quite find him. This is lumped backwards over to Xiao Si, over to Tia Tia. Tia and uh, Tia Tia is fouled from behind. There's no call. Xiao Si Matafa ends up winning this one way back in the back over to Kaliopa. Kaliopa with it. And he looks for Fumanao over to Tia Tia on the right side. Tia Tia's got it over Lutu. And uh, I'm not sure what he was trying to do with that there. He had all sorts of space and all sorts of time. It looked like he just sort of freaked out. Xiao, Sa Xiao Si over to uh, Kaliopa. Kaliopa back to Xiao Si. I'm a little bit worried because of all these poor performances that we're having. That's usually a sign that we're about to blow it. The Fola over to Rock over to Lutu. Lutu up to, to Fuman, Fumao over to uh, Nordin to Kitiona. And uh, this is knocked backwards, and that's going to be the end of that. So uh, a lot of good passes, a lot of um, good play by that um, uh, way of thinking. But, uh, yeah, this is this is still looking kind of bad. We're not able to win possession and uh, control it the way that we should. And uh, I'm afraid that uh, the uh, string of very, very nice um, team talks at the end of matches is about to uh, be broken. Fulmanau over to Rock. Rock lumps a forward for Nordine, and they're just not on the same page. And um, I've got to blame Rock on that one. I'm not quite sure what exactly he was trying to do here. And we've allowed Poasa to come here in a really, really dangerous area. And he takes a shot that misses everything. We did harass him quite a bit, but, um, yeah, that wasn't so great. And, uh, I mean, we got to get something going here. This is, uh, this is not looking very good. And um, we need a little bit more from these players. We're going to have to make a substitution. We'll probably have to take Ilya Saucy Matafa off, not having a good match. Nordin with a free kick, and he's denied a goal that looked like it was going to bend straight on in. And so, well, let's see what we can do here with the corner. Fulmanau takes it, and uh, it ends up going back to him. He would have been offside anyway. And uh, so that's the end of that. And uh, we have about 20 minutes left, hopefully, to get a winner. And at the very least, to not concede anything, there's a good chance that this one may end up just being a draw, which, as I said, is not going to make me particularly pleased. This is a team that we should be dominating. Uh, Roblo over Linguande, over to Roblo, over to Nordine, who takes a shot, and his shot is just passed straight to Tua. So it doesn't work again. we got 10 minutes left, and uh, here is a uh, attempt for them. And uh, fortunately, we're able to knock it out, but only as far as Poasa. And uh, we're leaving guys wide open all the way in the back. Fatu jumps up. He didn't have to to grab that one. 
and uh, we have about 10 minutes left now. We wanted, we we're hoping that something will happen. Ling Guan Day here steps back for the free kick, and uh, he'll knock this one forward, and uh, it ends up doing uh, just about nothing. Tofani, Tofa Eono ends up uh, winning it, and a lot of these players are former Ponce East FC players, so I think I've kind of opened up Pandora's box by making the transfers I made. And uh, this is lump four. Tia Tia is able to win that over to Celsius Matafa, and he passes it to Fatu over to Al Ali Roble. And looking for Nordin and can't find him again. And we're not playing the way that we're supposed to play. Fulham Manao looks again to just sort of lump the ball over to Robles. I'm not quite sure what's happening. I'm not sure why we're unable to uh, make that link. And uh, fortunately for us, Viola Tongan shot there at the end is not able to do much of anything. We're, all we're trying to do is just like lump the ball up the field. And that's not the way that we're supposed to play. And we're not supposed to have defenders sort of stand there. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. They're trying to play like a high block or something. And, I mean, it's not going to work. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't understand where, where the logic is behind uh, the way that we're playing defense. And uh, that's a free kick for us, thankfully. That's a, uh, that was a, I was worried there was going to be a penalty. It ends up not being one. And, uh, yeah, we have some problems here, and that should have been the uh, winner for them. I'm not sure how that one missed. Ellie passes it again. We're able to knock this one back and out. And, uh, yeah, so I have opened up Pandora's box here in American Samoa with the uh, number of foreign players that we have, thanks to all of my hard work. And uh, the advantage that we once had is turning into a uh, disadvantage of sorts. Um, and uh, this is going to end up being a draw, and uh, that is the full-time whistle. This was a really poor match by us. We should have won. In fact, uh, we didn't dominate XG quite the way that we uh, normally would have. Uh, looking at possession, though, we did have all of the ball all the time, so we need to figure something out, figure out a way to get these guys uh, shooting the ball a little bit better, but uh, it's going to be a pretty rough team talk here in a second, and I will talk with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.